Hi everyone. First and foremost, as I say on every one take I do, sorry not sorry if you can't see my face. I am and have always been blind. I can't look in the viewfinder. I never have and probably never will relate to things on a visual basis. And I really don't care what the visuals look like. Let's just call it like it is. Part of it is the fact that I can't look in the viewfinder, but part of it is I really don't give a flying fig what you see on the screen because in my world, it's not about what you see on the screen. It's about what you hear with your ears. And and on that note, we're going to go on to this, what I'm thinking about right now. First of all, I know I'm not a parent and... Some people might say, you know what, you have no room to talk about parenting. And you're right, but a person can still have an opinion about something that they don't experience for themselves. And, okay. I... I can have a pretty dirty mouth. I can have, you know, I can be pretty passionate about things. Well, passionate doesn't always mean cussing, but um Anyway, a certain there are a couple of certain words that will probably never come out of my mouth because I just don't even I don't like those words, but I'm not above saying things that some people think I should be above saying. But if I had a child, I wouldn't say even the words that I do allow myself to say that aren't exactly take two of trying to say that. Even though I can and do cuss, if I had children, I wouldn't do it in front of them. I just don't think that's... And then we can't believe it when the kids start saying it. Um, <laughs> I mean... You know... I don't even remember when that was. A year or two ago, somebody at our local um, uh, training center for the blind retired. He had been a teacher for several years, I think like 20, 30 years. I don't even remember how long he finally, um, how long he did his job before he finally decided, you know, I've had a long career and I'm ready to live out the rest of my life. Um, but even though I didn't specifically have him, I went to his, went to his retirement party just kind of out of respect for him. I knew him. I appreciated him and somebody told a story and I forget what all the context of the story was but I guess the kid was being mean to one of his students and the the kid the the, the teacher said okay leave him alone or whatever you know knock it off and the kid cussed at him and the guy you know the the retired instructor now now retired at that point he was working with a student didn't let it phase him you know obviously but I was thinking okay if that was my kid I'd be like uh who do you think you are first of all well first of all I would teach my kid that grown-ups
Grown-ups are to be respected. You don't mouth off to grown-ups, period. And you certainly don't mouth off that way. Where'd you learn that? Where'd you learn to say that? Um, but... Sadly, some kids do learn it from their parents. And I mean, I, I actually... Even on YouTube, I, again, I don't physically, visually see the video. If I wanted to call Ira, which is a organization that uses either the camera on an iPhone or the camera in a pair of smart glasses, to look at things through your eyes if they work for Jack Squat and tells you what they see. If I wanted to watch this video with Ira and have Ira tell me whether or not the kids were nearby, um, or nearby enough that it looked like they could hear what mom was saying, I would, but, you know, given the context, I would guess that they were there. And although the mom wasn't talking to the kids, she was talking to her YouTube audience, you know, she was saying what she was saying. I mean, she wasn't cussing left and right. She was, you know, a word or two, you know, in the whole, what, two-minute chat it up with the YouTube viewers. But, you know, in front of the kids or in the kids' earshot, I mean, and then watch what happens when her son starts talking like that. I mean, on the one hand, I wouldn't blame her for saying, boy, we don't talk like that. Where'd you get that? But what's mama going to do when he says, <laughs> mom, you said it. <laughs> you know, I was there when you said it. <sighs> I, I don't know. I, I just think that we as grown-ups who, who, can and do say and do things that we don't want kids doing should be careful about whether or not we do it in front of the kids because kids will turn around and I mean kids look up to grown ups kids think that grown ups you know kids think that Kids, how do I word this? Kids see grown-ups doing things and they think it's okay. And I guess I'm saying especially If you know that there are kids there, I mean, just think about the precious ears that are there and for what my two cents worth of advice is worth, don't teach your kids it's okay to cuss. Don't teach other kids it's okay to cuss. On Twitter, I'm the real Anvie87 because 
on on Twitter and my Facebook fan page and YouTube, you're getting the real Envy 87, you know. And the real Envy 87 is someone who who isn't going to be what someone else wants her to be. The real Envy 87 is going to be who she really is. And the real Envy 87 can drop a cuss word. But she can also take those censoring symbols and put them back on her face when she knows there's kids in the room. Because these precious ears don't need to pick up me saying things that if I was the parent of that child, I would turn around and go, uh, excuse me, we do not talk like that. Who told you it was okay to talk like that? I don't want to be the one that gives that kid the idea that it's okay to talk like that. Just something to think about. On that note, I'm going to wrap this video up. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Sign the Do Not Demonetize petition if you feel so moved. And I will see you for tomorrow's video. I assume we're still in Vlogist. I'm about two weeks or so ahead of time. So I'll see you tomorrow for the next Vlogist video. Bye.